Palm Royale, the most exclusive club in the world, was where I belonged. How did you get past security? I came in the back. There are no doors on the back of the Palm Royale? I never said I used the door. I had only been in Palm Beach two weeks. We don't know you. I'm Maxine Delcourt. But I already knew the Palm Royale, the most exclusive club in the world, was where I belonged. Evelyn, you are the woman to know in Palm Beach. I don't like you, Maxine. You're very good at making things awkward. I don't concern myself with the shenanigans of vapid poons. What is Evelyn wearing? Sleeves. <laughs> you know anything about rich people? I parked on the lawn. Robert, shake me another martini, and then let's play doctor. Do you work, Maxine? God, no. You want to work? God, no. You really want all this? More than anything I've ever wanted in my whole life. I'd like to take a few pictures? Maxine, you're the lead story. I see us all as one sisterhood. A <laughs> 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 people looking for something new? Let me tell you something about the Palm Royale. It's a nightmare. And that's all thanks to you. Don't underestimate a Delacorte. I would never. I wanna change my way. Palm Beach is just a shell game. Everybody has a secret. You two behave. You don't have to have money. The blackmail is right here. You don't know the half of it. What in the fires of Hell's Pits is going on here? Off we go. over your head. And girl, you don't even know it. I am never in over my head. It would be disrespectful to my hairdresser. To show you. In Palm Beach, the secret is like a loaded gun. No, 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 no. You never know when it will go off. Or who it might hit. I know, yeah, surprised to see me, considering you left me for dead. Tell me how Palm Royale came across your desk and why you had to make it your next, next project. Um, I was taken out for a glass of wine by Laura Dern and Jamie. Um, and, um, they slipped the book to me and said, uh, we think we know, we know you've done period pieces with females before, but give this a shot. And, um, I read it and just fell in love with all of these brilliant characters that were in the novel. And, um, and that's how it started for the two of us. That's the right. Casa del Mar in Santa Monica. Thank you. Can you talk about the amazing cast you put together for Palm Royale? Oh, gosh. Um, Casting is one of my favorite things in the world. And um, it's, it's a very important part of my creative process. What was great about this is the script that Abe wrote, the... Um, this world, we've never seen Palm Beach, Florida, to my knowledge, in anything. We even looked through old movies and there's just nothing there. So that helped bring a cast to us. Usually so often you, you get some people that you want and then you get the people that are available. Well, we got everybody that we wanted and most everybody we went to wanted to be in it. Um, so when you have that pool of people to pick from, I had the, the, the pleasure of, of looking for the subtle nuances that I wanted out of actors. I knew Allison Janney had to be Evelyn. And of course, Laura Dern uh, was placed perfectly and uh, represents a segment of society back then, the women of the bookstore, who could be plucked out of today's headlines as well. And then, um, and just casting Ricky Martin, it, it was just, it was so fun because it, in many ways it was a painting. 
you know, I would often just think, you know, you see the billboards around town and my brain often went to what would that look like with this person? Amazing. Why should people turn into the Palm Royale on Apple TV? Plus, Apple TV Plus. Apple TV Plus. Um, what do you think, John? Well, uh, you know, this show is so reflective of current culture in many ways. Um, you know, wanting so much. Um, there's the shiny, you know, beautiful life just on the other side of the hedges. Uh, sometimes you have to break in, to, you know, to to participate. Um, I think uh, also it's just so fun uh, and entertaining, certainly grounded, uh, but it's outlandish and it's, um, you know, that in itself is escapist. And I, I feel like that is is definitely needed in, in our entertainment, you know, right now. Um, I think there's still a strong narrative that still asks the right questions. It just does it with you know, beautiful costumes and great settings. And I, I feel like that in itself is really worth worth a watch. Not to mention the cast and Carol Brett. <laughs> great. Okay, so the next one is for you, Tate. I read that your upbringing informed your work. What influences did you bring to Palm? My, my upbringing? That is the question. <laughs> um, well, I, I could say this. I don't think I'd be speaking out of turn. Uh, my own mother, in many ways, uh, mirrored the struggle that, um, that Maxine had. She, she, she was not from the set of women um, in her town. And, um, and I watched her, you know, navigate her way through that and, 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 and feeling like she had to do more. And uh, as a little boy, knowing what a great woman she was, in many ways, it made me not like these people because I saw how damaging it could be. So in directing Kristen and these women, I had a direct channel to emotionally knowing what that would feel like to take it a little further than the com comic, the comic levels. Great. Okay, this is the last question for John Norris. In putting together this production, what were some of the benchmarks to make this a successful show, casting, crew, and story, etc.? Well, I mean, key, you know, uh, well, the first, uh, off the top of my head, Apple TV Plus was an incredible partner. Um, you know, they, they, really let, um, they really let us put together the team the way that we needed to. Um, and then that process of bringing on the creative team, John Carlos and Alex Friedberg and, you know, David and Todd, uh, you know, everybody that worked together on the show, the craftsmanship that went into it. Um, and, you know, Tate sets are really uh, a family environment. Um, and Abe's, you know, scripts and the writer's room. And I mean, it was just really a delightful experience um, all, all the way around. We, were, we felt support uh, creatively and from a production standpoint, we really got to choose who we wanted to work with. All right, great. Thank you guys so much.